taking me on to go up on stage. Come on. 
So let me ask, are ya hungry? Yeah! That was pretty good. Let's try it again. Are ya hungry? Yeah! That was a little better, but where I come from, if you want it, you got to ask for it. Are you hungry? Yeah! Okay. Let's eat. <laughs> now now, come and get it before we throw it away. She's 
turning 28 years old. And then six bit slogan right over here. Yeah, everybody look right here. This is Taylor. Wait a minute, everybody, Taylor. Perfect. T Taylor's joining us from Pennsylvania, and she is turning nine years old. Shining sea, 
And now, folks, we'd like to take this opportunity to invite all of our active duty service men and women and veterans of our armed forces to please stand, if you are able, so that we might recognize you for your service to our country. That's my 
good side. <laughs> we put you right here up in our... <laughs>
Yeah, Jeremy, that sounds like a great idea. Why don't you tell everybody all about it and we'll be right there. All right, folks, it's a new cell we've been working on and we're really hey, excited Jeremy. to do it for you. Hey, hey, so ladies, you got your hankies and men? Well, don't be afraid to break right down and cry with the ladies. <laughs> it's one of those songs. In a cavern, in a canyon, excavating for a mine, lived a miner, 49, and his daughter, Clementine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling, Clementine, you were lost and gone forever. Dreadful sign. Of the water, flowing bubbles of them from behind. But alas, she was no swimmer. Help, help, I'm a drowning. <laughs> So I lost my Clementine. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine. You were lost and gone forever. Dreadful sorry, Frankenstein! Frankenstein! <laughs> <laughs> In a churchyard near the canyon, where the myrtles all sent one up Oh, 
part. Oh, what's that? Well, your side will go. Yeah. Then my side will go. Yeah. And we'll show you. Show me what a puffed up bag of yard. <laughs> That's all. That's <laughs> Sure. All right, my side. Hold up your hands like this, because we're all going to clap our hands. Are ready? Well, let me see if you can clap. I think it's 
pretty obvious. It is. Pretty obvious that yes. my side won! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's obvious, all right. Obvious that my side won! No! Yeah. I think we ought to get out of here. Yeah. Both beat. For sure. See your beautiful screamers. One more time now. Yeah. Now remember that something special Miss Flora was talking about? Yeah. Well, it's dessert. It's ready and it's here. I don't want it. While you're digging into that delicious strawberry shortcake. All right. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to present the spectacle you've all been promised. Our uh, one and only mammoth historical pageant never before seen in these parts. But this presentation is of such a Oh, they're asking for the people right now. Yeah. 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 I suppose you are wondering just how it is that we've selected these four fine individuals. And I'll tell you, they were chosen for four very special reasons. Number one, on the basis of her talent. Her talent, yes. And number two, on the basis of her beauty. Her beauty, yeah. of course, of course. And number three, bravery. Bravery. Yes. Yeah. And number four, on the basis of intelligence. <laughs> no. Volunteers, <laughs> please take a bow. And musicians. Yeah, I could have been that one. <laughs> It's unbearable. <laughs> it must be 110 in the shade. 
If that's true, then why are you wearing that fuzzy little hat? Well, if I was you, okay. If I was you, okay. <laughs> Come on, Mr. If I was you, I'd run around in my bare skin. Now. <laughs> Say, that's right. 
<laughs> my Wild West show. Oh no, I thought that act was kind of grisly. Oh.